Okay, now we've um, <coughs> installed the adapter and ECU and everything into uh, Gary's M5. So we'll start at the ECU. We've got the um, adapter. I'll just um, bolt this one in yet. You can see tucked down in there is the ECU. Um, that's all plugged into our adapter harness here. Um, all the leads I've fed through the factory boot. Um, and the tuning cable for the ECU actually can drop down this vent. Now this vent just goes down here and it just drops out of a hole under the dash. So we go in here, we've got the tuning cable just coming out. Oh, it's a bit dark, but just under the dash here. So that's nice and handy. Um, so I haven't bolted this down yet. So you can see the all the cables are coming out of the factory boot under here. Um, we've got the earth and power for the coils and I've connected it to the factory earth point here. Then we come along a bit further, we've got the harness for all our coils. And then while I'm over on this side, you can see we've added the cam sensor kit. Um, now again, this just plugs into the factory harness, um, just direct plug into the factory plug. So there's no modifications to the harness needed to run a full sequential uh, cam sensor trigger. And then moving around to the other side, uh, we've got the cables here coming out. See the just tucked under under here and we're coming out here so we've got our flex fuel sensor down here um, that's plugged into this one then we've got coming under here we've got one for the intake flap and the other one comes up for TPS uh, E36 TPS and our little adapter so we're about ready to fire it up now um, now I've changed the I've put this plug just on the end of this lead and then on the intake flap we've made up just a little jumper jumper lead that'll plug into it so that's uh, just going to make it a bit easier to install. So we're about right ready to um, to give it a start. I'll fire it up before I put the airbox back on just to make sure everything's working and, um, and everything and um, yeah stay tuned for the next update.